Welcome back to Beyond the Altar, the podcast that this time is celebrating all things July. How's it going so far? It's a great July so far. <laughs> yeah, Everyone not too far. bad. Not too bad. It is uh, Blueberry Month. Ooh, my favorite don't like, berry. Don't like blueberries. Yeah, that's because oh. there's something wrong with you. Why are but they I, purple? Uh, yeah, well, they look blue. blue. No, not really. I probably have blueberries almost every morning, actually, oh. with some uh, fat-free, oh, sugar-free yogurt. Yeah. It is uh, Watermelon Month. Never liked it as a kid. Yeah. No. <laughs> Delicious. Mm-hmm. Watermelon Getting... candy, yes. Yeah, I was going to say it has a great no. fake taste. Yeah. Yeah. Fake watermelon yeah. is delicious. Yeah. Yes. Hot Dog Month. Uh, fake hot dog is well everything about it is i i aspire to win that nathan's hot dog challenge one day well uh that uh the the, the big winner yeah was out this told he couldn't compete Mm. because he was hopping other hot dogs or something schlepping other hot dogs dan and i when we were in seminary went to a a twins game where it was like the dollar dog night back in the day at the metrodome and how many hot dogs did you eat? Well, I don't know how many with you. That was probably like six, seven. But oh, more. back in college, I did, I think, 11 or 13. Oh. So that was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> that was the next day. Uh, not, not so great. Yeah. Grilling month goes along with that. And it's ice cream month. Mm. Now I'm going to be obsessing about it the whole yeah. time. I love some ice cream. What's Maybe. your favorite flavor? Maybe. If I go get some, mm-hmm. I'm getting chocolate. But I always like a uh, good old soft serve vanilla, so I can mm-hmm. add whatever yeah, I want to absolutely. it. Absolutely, I think vanilla is the most popular. We're going to see if we can't make some ice cream appear later oh, really in the podcast. Nice. Oh, I like magical the way you abilities. think. Depends on how well this goes. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. So Motivated. by the time this podcast posts, mm-hmm. the Fourth of July activities will uh, be passed. But I was wondering if you guys have a, a, a memorable Fourth of July story, either as a child or with your children, something fun or entertaining or dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. Well, these are good questions. Who wants to start? I'm trying to think if I have a, a great story. I do remember uh, going to a Twins game uh, with the kids, and they had, like, all-you-can-eat seats. You know, this is my oh, thing at baseball nice. games. <laughs> Uh, it was well, like I, eat seats. I don't know how many seats I, I could eat. I think it was like their first real push to have less COVID restrictions. And so it was a really fun night at the ballpark. And the kids yeah. got like three, four baseballs that day. Oh, and oh. like, it was pretty awesome. So nice. Yeah. that's nice. I don't know. I can think about like as a kid growing up, like, you know, my, my parents were rule, were rule followers. So we never had any fireworks, but then one fourth, <laughs> we were like down in Missouri at my aunt's place and like, got the little sparklers for the first time and that was so much yeah. fun did and you write your name yeah. <laughs> yeah i think they were trying to show me how but i got scared yeah so yeah. and i can remember as a parent too it wasn't that many years ago we were having like a big cabin fourth of july thing and my my nephew fell off the dock oh. and uh like into the lake and i mean brooklyn uh was real small at the time and just like learning how to talk but she was like traumatized by seeing this happen to her cousin like just <laughs> kept repeating over and over again anytime we went anywhere close to the lake for the rest of the summer like asher fall in the dock or asher fall in the water asher fall in the lake oh, like good so this is like trauma at a young yeah. age uh, i grew up in south dakota where it has always been legal to shoot almost any fireworks yeah. So uh, my dad uh, uh, trained us. Uh, if my mom is seeing this and hearing these stories for the first time, mm. she will be mortified. True confession. Uh huh. So the fireworks display was always out by the lake, and there were yep. a couple of spots where thousands gathered. And yeah. we'd go out the next day and search the grounds for either lost, left, or unspent fireworks. Mm-hmm. We weren't going to spend our own money on it. We'd go out, and we made bank. Fill in bags with fireworks. That included sometimes some where the fuse got close and then huttered out. Oh. So you got a little quarter inch fuse. A lot of TNT here. Oh, heck, just, (laughs) yeah, you just have to run fast. Yeah. That that was the first dangerous thing taught. And then, do not try this at home. He taught us that with ladyfinger fired crackers, you know, the little tiny ones. Okay. If you pinch the end of it and hold it, you can light it. And it goes off, impress your friends. Because by pinching it, all of the energy is going out away from you. 
Oh. See, he was really teaching us science. 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 Gotta love science. Mom, don't worry. We all survived. I was going <laughs> to say, no fingers? lost fingers. Yeah, How about fingers burn, burn fingers? No, yeah. no. He taught us well. You got to oh. pinch that. Oh. Do not try this at home. Nope. And do not try this with like a black cat, which yeah. are illegal in Minnesota oh. anyway. Now, something else about July. It's said to be an unlucky month. For marriages, have you heard this? I Just haven't. Marriages in general struggle during no, July? No, or... for getting married oh. Oh. in July. I think it's just yours that's struggling. I thought I was so, normal yeah. all of a sudden. For, yeah. You got married in July? No, oh. it's just marriage struggles every July. <laughs> <laughs> was it because the kids are falling off the dock? Yeah, pretty much. Kids off the dock. <laughs> yep, yep. Trying to take extra oh, vacation. Yeah. And, when yeah. is your uh, anniversary? Uh, mine is in May. Oh. So, yeah. More on that in a September, bit. So, September, so yeah. September. How about you? August. Okay. And the other, you had to wait past July to catch well, the yeah. good luck. I mean, I gotta think. Have you had many weddings in July? Everyone coming up in a couple of weeks, at least. Okay. It was happening before we found out about this. Yeah. yeah maybe that's off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my stepson's getting married on July twentieth, so I don't know if I just hope he doesn't see this. Yeah. But really, some say you know that's an old folklore. Sure. In fact, they used to have sayings. Married in July with flowers ablaze, bittersweet memories in after days. And those who in July do wed must labor for their daily bread. Wow. That's going to be bed, something about bed. Yeah. yeah. That would be the better rhyme, I think. Yeah, I think so, so, too. <laughs> labor for bread. A July bride will be handsome, but a trifle quick-tempered. These are... Yeah. Old and inappropriate. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but some say July is not the unluckiest. Uh, they say it's May. Ooh. Oh, yep. Huh. Bad time to get married. Makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, say word. Yeah, no, she's... You got stuck. <laughs> she knows. She How many knows. years? <laughs> Uh, why do you ask that in a podcast? Like, <laughs> to come up with this quickly. Uh, 14. Oh, hey, like if it was 13 yeah. and in May. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's talk superstitions. Yeah. And you? I'll be 16 in September. So 17 yeah. coming up here in Thanks. August. Yeah. You're seeing the little theme though today for the podcast for Tim. Like you don't want your mom to see this. Right. You don't want your stepson to see this. <laughs> right. Like, at some point, like you're running out of family. <laughs> yeah. <brothers. They> <laughs> We're running out of people who are willing to. No, yeah. tell your friends about yeah. the podcast. Yeah. Got to make so. up for Tim's family that can't watch. So we need more of you. That's we want right. other people's children to play with fireworks, not our own. Is that kind of what I'm picking up? Sure. Yeah. yeah. But. If you need tips on how to survive illegal uh -huh. fireworks right. shooting, Tim's dangerous. your guy. <laughs> Learn <laughs> lady fingers. <from> dad. <laughs> I know. Uh, Don't be crossing the border into South Dakota to buy fireworks you're not supposed to shoot. Because the rule is in Minnesota, it can't launch yeah, like a nobody follows that. bottle rocket. Okay. And My it's not supposed to report boom. So. My neighbors break this rule all the time. I swear, like starting May 30th, yeah. May 15th. Yeah. He's the old guy. Yeah. Hey. Trying to get to sleep here at 7.30. Old man skill bread. Yeah. I honestly don't mind it until about 9.30 or 10. Yeah. No, that's when they start going off. Yeah. Again. We had uh, a situation a few years ago. Somebody in the neighborhood shooting off what appeared to be Spicer Casino, Wilmer Fest type. They yeah. call them chrysanthemums. Oh, yeah. Right mm. in the neighborhood. And I, I had to call. I said, yeah. I don't want to be that guy. I don't mind on the 4th of July people are shooting up. But, but that was huge. Yeah. The windows rattled. A neighbor, yeah. like, did you hear that? Yeah. And uh, they came by. Of course, then it gets really quiet in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. All of the lights go out. So I don't know if they were ever caught. Don't do that. Yeah. That's very it's wrong. It's like a good reminder to think about Jesus on the 4th of July and yeah. you know, be a good neighbor. <laughs> yeah, like, do I like unto that. others yep. as you would have them do unto you. So call the cops on them. No. Yeah. <laughs> think about your neighbors before you're yes, lighting off absolutely. fireworks at 11 o'clock. That's know. right. I know. When I lived in Georgia, it was even worse because uh, New Year's Eve is a firework holiday. You know, when oh, you yeah. don't have like a foot of snow outside, then it's more time for fireworks. And that comes, of course, naturally mm -hmm. at midnight. And, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like, you lost a lot of sleep. This was a big thing for me in Alaska because you didn't want to shoot them during the summer. You'd start wildfires. So uh, New Year's Eve. 
And I had a friend whose dad loved to shoot him at people, like the bottle rockets. Dads. Like, <laughs> Dads of old. It's okay. There's snow outside. We'll put it out. Yeah. So, yeah. Were they legal in Alaska? Uh, I, I think during the winter it was fine. Okay. I think there were some question marks in the summer. Are you sure everything wildfires. is legal in Alaska? Yes, this is true. The last frontier. Mm. Yep. Uh, they did uh, New Year's Eve fireworks out in New England when I was in New Hampshire. They called it First Night New Hampshire, and they would yeah. shoot off fireworks. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. We're starting a campaign here. Yeah. Vinji Lutheran Church presents First Night Wilmer oh, fireworks okay. show. Yeah. Right here in the parking lot. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Better talk to these neighbors yeah. over here. They're going to yeah. lie. Be a good neighbor. For those who don't know, and we're trying to cover all things July here, the second week of July is Nude Recreation Week. Oh, I know. <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> Your Every, neighbors know. Everyone knows. Yeah. Don't right? they? And then I, mean, I knew it like yesterday or this morning when Tim told me about it. So who yeah. doesn't participate in this? So it's it's a fun time to live on the golf course. I'll say that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be church sanctioned activities here? You know, a little community activities. I'm I'm envisioning. Uh, Nude sand volleyball at Salisbury Beach. Yeah. Maybe nude pickleball led by Justin. Does worship count as recreation? <laughs> That's a good question. That's it. And now, would it increase or decrease worship attendance if it was in the nude? I mean, it does depend on who's invited, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that might have some effect on you'll lose some yeah but you may gain yeah, others that's right that's right <laughs> does does the organist have to be naked that's an interesting question <laughs> and will he shoot video to share on his own uh, uh, social media yeah of so your feet yeah <laughs> no i do have some tips things not to mm, do i can guess some of these okay. remember the sunscreen that, no, that's what you should do. Don't go out without sunscreen. Right. So not, lawn mowing? Don't mow the lawn. Yeah. You know, as long as you're wearing protective shoes, right. I think. <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Does that count? I mean, I'm just concerned about the rocks flying up. <laughs> right. Don't make bacon in the nude. Oh, that out. Spatter. Yeah. And, stuff. yeah. and uh, don't iron your clothes nude. I mean, yeah. You know you're not supposed to like yourself. iron when you're wearing the clothes. Maybe that's what it is. If you're yeah. used to ironing your clothes while they're on you, yeah. don't forget that day yeah. that they're not they're on not you. Really yeah. On you. So uh, be watching for a sign-up sheet for all of the uh, nude recreation activities led by these two. Oh, shoot, I'm on vacation that week. I guess it's up to you. <laughs> Wait, you're not on vacation. You're on a mission uh, trip. That's right. Yeah. Is it next week? Uh huh. Okay. There Speaking of which, there's some talk of maybe, because uh, you did one with the kids. I did. High you're school. going to do one yeah. with the kids, of maybe getting some of those kids uh, mm -hmm. to join us a little bit, talk yeah. about uh, what they did. And I did hear many of the high school kids wanted to be part of the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I haven't talked to the middle school. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. They don't know. Uh, <laughs> Is he no the guy way. that's running no the way. soundboard on Wednesday yeah. nights in the spring? That I think that'd be uh, very cool, though, to do yeah. that. And a little teaser. Plus, I would ask, how are these two really? Are they responsible? Because your parents want to mm. know. Mm. Are, are you nope. well-led nice. on these Absolutely not. trips? No. Something else that we'd like to uh, happen on this uh, July ice cream month is ice cream. Yeah. yeah. You said you had magical powers if this went well. Yeah. I could Did really use some. Okay. Studio audience giving us a thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. On the count of three, we need to snap our fingers. No. No. Snap our fingers. Snap our fingers. One, two, three. No, it's on oh, three. Sorry. Let's, do it Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Snapped early. On three. One, two, three. Hey. Hey. Whoa. How about that? Right. Good podcast. Yeah. Make yeah. sure you share it with all of your friends and like and love it and comment. Definitely. Mm. Oh, delicious. Now, is somebody in the office going to say, who ate the ice cream? Probably. Yeah. That's okay. Pastor's privilege. Mm-hmm. We're mm -hmm. good. Since that worked, should we try a uh, eating ice cream during nude recreation week mm. mode? Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Okay. Here we go. On three? On three. One, two, three. You stuck around. You thought. <laughs> no, I have. Have a happy July. Yeah.